Hey everybody, Shabu here. I'm back from a video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 2D game in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to view at the top here. Click on exploring properties and make sure they are both open. You can also open output if you want to see errors. Next, we're going to go to Explorer and go to Starter Player. Now we right click on Starter Player Scripts, Insert Object, and then Insert a Local Script. I'm just going to rename this so it looks better. And now we can start scripting. So the first thing we're going to do is delete this because you don't need it. And then next, we're going to get the player service as a variable. So local players equals game get service players. That gets this. Next, we're going to want to get the player, because every player gets a copy of the script. So local player equals players dot local player. Next, we're going to want to get run service. So local run service equals game get service run service. And then we're going to get the camera as a variable. So local camera equals workspace dot current camera. And now we're also going to make a variable for the character. So local character equals nil. Next, we're going to need to detect whenever the character is added. So we can save it to this variable. So player.character added connect and make it like that. And if not player.character, then repeat task.wait until there is a character. And then we just set character to player.character. And then just as backup, is the script might not load in time. So character equals player.character. And this basically guarantees it. Next, we're going to get the camera ready. So camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type, camera type dot scriptable. This will make it so you can script the camera easier without it like bugging out and stuff. Next, we're going to want to move the camera every frame so that it is on the so that it is in a two D view of the character. So run service bind to render stepped camera a huge number function like that. Next, if character then local root equals character find first child humanoid root part if root then camera dot c frame equals c frame dot new root top position plus and then we just put an offset so i'll just do i'll put like 30 and then 5 and then 0 and then root dot position again so what this will do is every frame it'll check if there's a character if there is a character It'll check if it has a root part. If it does have a root part, then it'll set the camera.c frame to be offset from the character so that you get a 2D view of it. And this is the offset that the camera is at. So it's 30 studs to the right, and then 5 studs up, or whatever offset you put. I might change it. And this script should be working, so I'm going to press play. I don't know why this is here. I'm going to get rid of that. But as you can see, we have a 2D view of our character, and we can't change it. But since we want it to be a 2D game, we're going to want to make it so our character can only move left to right. So I'm going to press stop. Now, what we're going to do is just add some more code to here. If math.absolute root top position dot x, since my camera is in the x offset, I want it to be x. It's less or equal to a very small number, like I can put like 0.03. We can't set that to zero, otherwise it might like freeze the character and stuff. You want this to be greater or equal than, and not this. So correct that to this. And then next, we're going to get the C frame of the character. So we'll C frame, it was character, get pivot, which is basically just the center. Next, we're going to correct the position because he's too far away from the center. So character, pivot to, C frame dot new, C frame dot position, times, Vector 3.new, 0, 1, 1. So this is just the position of it, but we removed the x-axis, so it's going to be forced to the center. And then to keep the rotation, we just put times c frame dot rotation. Now if I press play here, as you can see, I cannot get out of the axis, and I can only move to the right and left. Then you can just build a map, and it'll be 2D. There's also a glitch where you can kind of zoom in, but you really can't. As you can see, I can make my character invisible like that. To fix that, I'm going to press stop, go to starter player, 
change the camera settings to something like this and then that'll be fixed and as you can see I, I if I press play I will not be able to zoom in and that's how you make a 2d game in Roblox make sure to slap that like button and punch the subscribe button peace